Welcome to the Lake Superior Circle Tour Trip Planner. My name is Dan and I'll be your guide. I'll demonstrate step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the website for planning your trip, from the best campgrounds, attractions, restaurants, and much more. I am here to help you plan your trip effortlessly in six simple steps. Step number one, creating an account. To create an account, click on the sign up link. You'll need to provide a working email address as well as your first and last name to register an account. Add your personal information to the fields and create a username and password. Check the box that says you accept the terms and conditions, and there you have it. Your own personal account that you can use to plan and save your trips. Step 2. Using the online map. Using the online map, you can search through locations along the Lake Superior Circle Tour. It gives you an overview of all the accommodation options, attractions, restaurants, parks, and more. To navigate the map, you can click and drag. To zoom in and out, you can use the plus and minus buttons at the bottom right. Simply zoom in on the map to see more locations. Now that you're in the online map, we can move on to the next step. Step 3. Using the filters. On the left-hand side of the Lake Superior Circle Tour map, you'll see several drop-down menus to filter through locations that are of interest to you. The accessibility filters are especially helpful. You can use them to focus your search on locations that are motorcycle friendly, RV friendly, pet friendly, roadside accessible, and much more. Remember, you can select multiple filters at once. For this example, we will be traveling to Ontario Superior Country and we'll be looking for accommodations. By clicking on the drop down menu under location, you can select your preferred region. Here we can select just the Ontario Superior Country area to customize our search. Under C and Do, the Accommodations drop-down will allow us to select Campgrounds. You will now be shown each campground on the map within Superior Country. When you select a location, a box will appear on the right-hand side of the map which contains valuable information. If you want more details on the location, you can select Read More. Now that you have a place to stay, be sure to look at the filters under C and Do. Here you can look for specific things you want to experience. In this example, we're going to look for a waterfall to explore. Select Reset in the filter box to clear your current selections. Then we'll select the Attractions menu and click on Waterfall. Now the map is showing waterfalls that can be found around the lake. You can read much more on each waterfall, and when you find one you'd like to visit, this brings us to Step 4. Add to Trip. Add locations to your trip from the online map by clicking the Add to Trip button. You can add locations to your trip directly from the map or from individual location pages, accessed by selecting Read More on the map. Because you can create multiple trips, the first time you add a location, you'll be prompted to Create New Trip. You can name your trip, select a date, and add notes to it. For this example, we'll create a new trip. A pop-up will ask you to input a trip name. We will call this My Circle Tour Trip. You can set a trip date and add any notes that might be helpful. Click the Save Trip button. Now, when you choose to add another location to your trip, select the trip you just created. Step 5. View your trip. Once you've selected locations, you can view your trip as a whole. Click the region you want to see. For this, we'll select Ontario Superior Country. From here, you can select your starting point and have your trip sorted either automatically or manually. If you choose to sort automatically, select a starting destination and the website will plan your stops based on distance. To manually sort your destinations, simply click on the location you want to move and drag up and down the list to where you want it. If your trip contains more than 25 locations, you'll need to view them regionally to populate directions. The View All option will still list and pinpoint all your trip locations. Click the pencil to add notes about each location that you might want to remember, such as make sure to take a photo or closes at 5 p.m. Now that your trip has been built, it's time for the final step. Step 6. You can save your trip as a PDF, download the GPX files, print it, or even import into Google by selecting Get Directions. Share your trip with co-travelers by clicking on the Share button and add their email address to the pop-up bar and they'll get an email with the full itinerary. And there you have it. Six easy steps to fun and adventure.
The website works seamlessly with the Lake Superior Circle Tour mobile app, so you can access your trip from anywhere using your mobile device. The app will also give you notifications when you're approaching your trip locations so that you don't miss a beat. Say, I hope you've enjoyed planning your next trip around Lake Superior as much as I did. And who knows, maybe I'll see you on the road.